Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM and if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel at the moment how about giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to the channel to help us grow and perhaps even check out our Patreon. Today I'm in Wales at the Talaclin Railway, the birthplace of railway preservation to celebrate 40 years of these things with the Bagley Bash of which I'm the special guest so I'm going to be kicking around hopefully meeting some of you guys but first I've been roped in to help in doing some cleaning. As the railway's number 9, ALF, was out hauling the first passenger train of the day, that was the first thing to receive some of my attention, and since I last came and drove ALF, it's received a new coat of paint and was looking very nice indeed. Number 12 had also been fired up and set about readying itself for its first duty. Number 9 was then spared any more attention from me and headed off to get fuel. Which left me free to be able to start the prep on number 11, which basically was check the dipstick to make sure there was oil, check the water and check the fuel. And then I could start on cleaning that as well. And whilst I was doing that, Nine returned to go and collect the carriages to make up its first train of the day. And that was my cue to leave. You see, I had to catch this empty stop working down to Wharf so that I could be around to meet anybody who'd come along to say hi. With the train now out of the carriage shed, it came to a stop so I could hop on. <sighs> we sat in the siding for a few moments to allow 12 to head over to the other carriage shed to collect its train for the second service of the day. And once that was out the way, we were free to head down to Wharf.
Luke was so busy sorting things that he didn't even realise that we were in Wharf. But soon, Alf was on the front of its train. And with that, the Bagley Bash was away and ready to start. Despite Alf being a Hunslet and not a Bagley. I know, it was just kind of a diesel thing that was going on. But this was a rare opportunity to take a ride behind Alf doing a scheduled passenger train. In what felt like no time at all, number nine had cleared the section, allowing the first of the Bagleys to actually turn up to the Bagley event, with 12 coming down the line with the coaches it had picked up earlier. Number 11 appeared soon after, dragging with it number 5, which sadly was out of traffic with gearbox issues. However, Midlander was still going to play its part of the day and was being shunted into position so everybody could admire it at Wharf Station. And having dropped off the stricken Ruston, number 11 moved round to couple onto the train to form the next departure. And having coupled up, number 11 headed up the line in hot pursuit of number 9. the way, number 12 could start marshalling together the demonstration works train, starting off by going and fetching the brake van.
and whilst number 12 waited for the section to be clear, an old favourite made a reappearance, Toby the Trolley, and today you have the rare opportunity to be able to go for a ride on it. Now, I think it's obvious to say that I absolutely love Toby, so check out the review I did of it coming up on the screen now. And with the trolley clearing the line, number 12 was free to depart with the demo works train. With nothing scheduled for a while, I couldn't resist the urge to get closer to a Ruston. You can put one of those in your three-wheeler. <laughs> Presenting a proper locomotive built by a proper engine builder, which is absurd. And then a rather brilliant idea crept up on me. You see, as Toby was doing rides, I figured I should go for a ride. And the driver, Steve, who was my driver when I reviewed it, agreed and said that I should drive it again.
With us out the way, we were ready for the next diesel to arrive, and it was not a diesel, which was unusual for a diesel event. It turns out that the Talaclin will always turn out a steam engine, no matter what the event is. So even on the Bagley Bash, celebrating the diesels, there was a steam engine out, which was good really. And as number 11 roared back in, it was a nice comparison on how motive power has changed over the years. And with 11 coming to a stop in the station, number three moved off to form the next train. As the honorary diesel departed with the next train, we debated what our next move would be, for we had a fair amount of time before the next train, which was meant to be hauled by a diesel, would arrive in the station. So we decided that we'd head off and explore the garden railway that is here at Wharf Station, which is apparently very, very good. And it was having its own mini internal combustion gala with visiting locomotives at the same time. And it turns out it was well worth a look. And here at Wall Station we have another arrival during the diesel bash of one of the railway's diesels. And here it comes now. Oh, it's the honorary diesel again. Oh no, it's an honorary diesel. And having been uncoupled, number seven began to run round its train. And once it had run to the front of the train, 
and number nine came forward to help marshal the recently arrived works demo train. It was then that I noticed that Luke was trying to shoot a video for the award winning Talaclin's YouTube channel. It's a YouTuber. Following my helpful interruption, I got roped into helping to present one of the videos for the Talaclin, so keep an eye out for that one. And check out the Talaclin's own YouTube channel on the screen now and see if you can spot the video that I'm in. Once we'd finished filming, I was in time to see one of the Bagley's reposition itself so that Alf could shunt the demo works train into the siding and away. Being here at the Talclin and being like involved in an event is magical because the TR always has a certain kind of atmosphere that's kind of unique to this railway that nowhere else has. And to feel like part of today and be wandering around and yeah, that feels really special. And I like that. That's very cool. But I also like that one, and I also like that one. It's all it's all pretty good. As number seven began its journey heading up the full length of the line, that made me think of what our next stage would be, for we too would be taking a journey along the railway, but we weren't going to be travelling behind steam. No, we were going to be doing it in quite a different way, and an opportunity that doesn't come along very often. So although number seven is wonderful, this wasn't the way we are going to be travelling at all, but for that, and to see me actually be useful to the railway, come and join us for part two, which will be coming up next week. So with that, thank you very much for watching and a huge thank you to the Talaclin Railway for inviting me along to be part of this event. It was a huge honor and we had a lovely day. And if you have enjoyed this one, how about click somewhere on the screen now for one of the other videos we shot here at the Talaclin Railway. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time